Hey guys, Jessica Gobesi here. I'm going to be showing you guys some of my coloring techniques. So let's just jump right into this. I have my photo here. And we are going to start by going over some stuff you can do to add color to the picture because I have a lot of people asking me that. Let's go ahead and make a new layer. I'm going to show you guys some techniques I use. Now to begin, I like to go over to screen or overlay or soft light. Now for this one I'm going to go over to overlay because I feel like it will work on the picture a little better. Screen um, makes it a little more washed out and I want it to actually stick to the picture to make it look like it's part of the picture. So I like to start off with a lighter color, a little lighter than that. Opacity, let's keep it around 11 to 22. If you literally just hit double, if you hit one twice It'll just change it without you having to sit there and type it in. Just a little um, blurb for you guys. Now let's go ahead and let's see what that does. So I like if you guys just uh, saw this, it's adding in some purple right there. But I don't want to do that all together. I want to add like little areas of it so it's not that obvious. So as you can see, I'm going to turn this off and on already see a little bit of that and you can even lower it to make it less obvious and then I would normally just make another layer change up the color a little and take some of those lipsticks again go to overlay I'm gonna higher the opacity now to 33 percent and you can see how um, it affects the picture I'm not liking how that's coming out I think it's too dark so what I'm going to do is choose a lighter color. There we go. I like that actually a lot better. I'm going to change the opacity back to 22. I literally would just go back and forth and just be changing the opacity. Add some little uh, bursts of color here. Now you don't want to actually get it on her face because she'll end up looking like that, like she's sick or something. <laughs> you don't want that. So let's just lower this a little. And as you can see, it makes it look a lot better. Let's I just group this all. So it just adds a little pop of color. Now, I would not leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more layers to this because I'm never really done. I'm going to go ahead and pick a bright yellow. And now I'm going to go ahead and set it to screen and see what that does. So as you can see, when you set it to screen, it makes it a little brighter, again, more washed out. Mm, yellow's not really working for me. And honestly, this is the, my exact process. What you guys are seeing right now is exactly how I'll do this. I don't plan this and I don't sit and go, oh yeah, now it's time to use purple. I'll just sit and experiment and I think that's the number one way for you to learn anything. And People are always asking me and I'm always telling them the same thing. You got to practice you got to learn what works for you and what doesn't work for you and you can even just use the same layers and add some more color on there now let's say you want a lens flare going through this you want like a fake lens flare let's make another layer and if you don't know I'm sorry this is kind of late if you don't know how to make a layer just go over here to new layer or command shift n on Mac now for um, the lens flare, I'm, I'm going to start out really light. And you're just going to like do a swipe across. And I'll usually add a little bit in one area, like a tiny bit more in one area. Oh, that's a little bit too much. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll set it to normal. I'll keep it at normal. Put it to maybe 41%. And then I'll duplicate that same layer and then add an overlay just so that it kind of sticks. So as you can see, it sticks more like that. Again, one layer is normal. You're setting the base and another layer is overlay. Or actually, you can even set it to screen too. Screen gives it a better, a more lens flare look. Again, I'm literally just swiping. Make sure your brush, brush hardness is at 0%. And this is at my highest um, size because I'm, the picture is pretty large. And normally what I'll do is I'll add more colors because I just keep packing stuff on. 
<laughs> I guess that's one problem of mine. Again, I'm going to go out and swipe once more. This layer is set to screen. So I changed, um, I have the first layer normal, second layer screen, the orange. So both orange layers, normal screen. And then my new layer, yellow, is set to screen. Now this yellow is going to kind of highlight it. You see, if I didn't have the orange, it would just kind of look a little strange. It actually like gives it a nice foundation. So that's looking actually pretty good. And then if you wanted to, you can go ahead with an overlay with the same yellow color and then kind of just go over it, just to cement it in. I like to use the expression like I'm making the color stick to the picture. Kind of looks like Skittles, <laughs> just kind of nice. That's okay though, we can color the picture one single color so it doesn't look weird. And then one last thing I'll do is I'll add white. Again, opacity is at 22%. We are not using, if you use 100%, let me show you. This is how it would turn out, and that's not going to work. So you want to stay at small percentages. There we go. Let's see what happens if I move that down. I just move this down to the very bottom layer. Kind of gives it more of that lens play. I use, I undo a lot of stuff all the time. So let's just look at the before and after now. So the colors could pop a little more, I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go layer, new adjustment layer, and then curves. And then the, we'll make the colors stick a little more. State your RGB. I'm going to pull this up a little. Now there are a lot of ways that you can add contrast to your picture. This is just one of the many, many ways, and I'll show you guys a couple of tricks. So I'm literally, this is a 3.1, actually 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And you can go back and forth with this one. I don't like it when it looks too, the face looks too contrasted and red, so stay away from that. Um, another way to add contrast I'm going to go ahead and undo this layer just so I can show you guys. Another way you guys can add that, if you go on over to gradient map, and this is my favorite thing ever, select the gradient map. Now you want a black to uh, white to black gradient map, black to white doesn't matter. Hit reverse so that the black is filling in the person, and then you're going to want to go from normal to soft light. Or you can go to overlay, but I like to, I personally like to use soft light just because it's not that harsh. So that's how it would look with soft light. Adding contrast. Notice how the face, it's, it's not turning red, it's not turning orange, it's kind of keeping its tones. But notice here, it's becoming a little more red. Like if I higher this a little, you're seeing more of these red highlights, which you, again, just doesn't look right for pictures. Again, these are some very soft highlights. This is keeping um, with the original colors of the picture. That's why I like using gradient map. But for, for the sake of this style, we could still use curves. And um, even if you added the gradient map over curves, it still look, looks nice, but just don't go too crazy. I'm using um, the curves, I'm setting it to normal, and then I'm putting the gradient map to soft light. And the opacity is at, over at 30%. But um, you can see how it goes. Now let's say you wanted this to be one, like kind of the same colors. You don't want it to be like skittled, skittle color over here. What you can do is again, go back to gradient map and then you can make a gradient of the colors that you like. And then I'll show you guys what you can do with this. So let's see how I do want a more vibrant picture, though I don't want a boring picture. Let's see if we change this to yellow, how that would look. And I'm just going into the gradient editor. It's really easy to make your own gradients. And I'm just going to lower this opacity. And you can see, even I'm not even putting this to a mode or a setting. I'm just literally keeping it 
as it was and look at the dramatic difference it makes it fills in all those areas for the purple and I'm going to show you guys another thing let's say you wanted this to be blue or green what you do is you take the color that's filling in right here this color the purple and then you can change it to blue yellow you can really choose there's endless possibilities but I like the look that's with the purple so I'm gonna keep it to that purple could go a little darker like that and to save your gradient just press new and let's see even put it to white that kinda looks nice too if you want a more vintage look you can go ahead and set it like add some yellow in there that's a if you're looking for like more vintage pictures I would definitely go ahead and add in um, a light orange or a yellow so that's what I did again setting is normal you could try lighten it will give you kind of the same effect but it's just based on your preference again what I like to do is go through each and every layer I mean not each and every one but I like to go through each layer see how it would look just because I like to see all my options but this is totally not necessary let's just keep this over at normal for now and let's just set that over to 19% and let's put this underneath the curves layer let's pop that out a little more there we go I think that's looking a lot nicer I'm gonna lower the opacity a little more I don't like the hair to be like too purple like she was came back from Willy Wonka's chocolate factory <laughs> Because there's one of the girls with, I don't know, I'm probably thinking of the wrong movie. So, I'm just going to be playing around with this a tiny bit more. So you really get to see how I do this. And let's just add a small exclusion layer. For exclusion, it kind of gives it a vintage feel. I like to use really, really light colors for this. So go ahead and press OK. Make a new um, color fill layer. Just go to solid color, color right here. And then go on over to, you can go to lighten or you can go to exclusion. And it just gives it a really washed out look. So if you're interested in washed out pictures like this, exclusion is the layer setting for you. And like I said, you can use lighter ones. But for this one, I'm going to keep it nice and contrasted. I figure it's not really what I want. I just want to play around with it. So we can just delete that. So, I'm going to lower this, and I'm going to show you guys the before and after so you guys can see the difference. This is before, and this is after. Again, before and after. So, just again, using basic brushes, you don't have to have any fancy brushes to do this. You just need to have a little bit of patience, and an imagination, and, you know, love for colors, because this isn't for everyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, please request anything you like to see. If you see an image that I've put up and you want to know how I did it, I like to go over that. So just request anything you like. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys learned something. Bye.